lang, may groupmate ka bang na-awkwardan kang kausapin online dahil sa kung paano mo siya nakilala sa class? Kung meron, then this vlog is for you. How does your perception of your classmates in class affect the way you communicate with them online when doing collaborative group work? At the end of this vlog, we hope to answer that very question. So, para masagot ang tanong na yun, meron tayong special guest for today. So, yung special guest natin for today is someone na naka-experience na nung very struggle na yun. Without further ado, let's welcome our very special guest for today. So, we're gonna interview him via Skype. Let's welcome Chino! Hi, Loy! And hi sa lahat ng viewers ng S Collaboration. Hi, Chino! Uh, balita ko meron ka daw isang classmate na nag adjust ka kapag nakikipag-usap ka sa kanya online kasi medyo iba yung pagkakakilala mo sa kanya sa classroom. Meron ako four questions for you. Gusto ko sagutin mo siya with all honesty. So question number one. Paano mo nakilala si classmate X outside the class? Or bago kayo maging classmate? Um, hindi pa kami nag-encounter ever ni classmate X outside the class. So lahat ng impressions ko sa kanya nabuo lang nung naging classmates na kami. Question number two. Paano siya sa klase? Paano mo siya kausapin sa klase? Um, paano ko siya kausapin sa klase? Well, minimal lang kasi hindi talaga kami close. Awkward kung like, mag-initiate ako ng conversation na hindi naman tungkol sa, sa class or sa subject or sa group work. Pero when I do, well, of course, hindi naman kami ganun ka-acquainted so medyo like awkward and very strict to the point. Question number three. Paano mo kilala si classmate X sa Facebook? Oh, yeah. Si classmate X sa Facebook sobrang famous. Like, yung profile picture niya nasa 300 plus yung reacts. Super relevant nung mga nagiging yung comments niya ganyan. Ayun. Pag like, nag-comment like, siya or nagsabi ng anything sa Facebook parang sobrang dami nag-reacts. So that's how famous he or she is. Question number four. Final question. So, paano ka nakikipag-usap sa kanya online kapag may kailangan kayong pag-usapan dahil meron kayong group work together? I think same lang sa pakikipag-communicate ko sa kanya physically. I don't see any reason why I need to adjust my way of communicating with him her online compared to how I do it physically. So, kaya, ayun, same lang. Ayun, kinakausap pa lang din siya kapag may kailangan akong sabihin pa stuff regarding our group work. And, ayun, very straightforward. No jokes, no sarcasm, because we're not really close. I guess kung pa paano nakaka-apekto yung pagkakakilala ko sa kanya sa class, sa pakipag-usap ko sa kanya physically, Ganun lang din naman nakaka-apekto yung pakipag-usap ko sa kanya online. Maraming maraming salamat, Chino, for being our special guest for today. So thank you for sharing your story with Classmate X to our viewers. Wala ka naman. Again, thank you for inviting me to be your special guest for today. Thank you. Thank you, viewers of this collaboration. So ayun. Uh, nalaman na natin kung ano yung story ni Chino at kung paano siya nag-respond dun sa naging uh, circumstance niya with classmate X. So according to my methodology, it's also the same with the majority of my respondents. It's really not so big of an adjustment for you if you want to talk to your groupmate online even though you have this certain perception of him inside the class. So, Yun lang. Uh, thank you for watching today's episode of S Collaboration and goodbye. Again, this is Vlogger Life.